Hallelujah. He says, who against hope believed in hope? That he might become. Huh, this is wonderful. In other words, look at it. He says, that he might become. He believed in hope. That he might become. Isn't that what we read in Romans chapter 10, verse 10? With the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto that he might become. He declared his faith. So he was catapulted to that position that he had seen. With the mouth confession is made unto. You catapult yourself into that position. That you have seen in your spirit with your mouth. I told you, keep talking. Let no one stop you. Keep talking. Keep talking. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I walk in righteousness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I walk in righteousness. See, the devil has been defeated stop trying to defeat him we don't need to defeat the devil because he's already been defeated somebody said well i'm wrestling with the devil you don't need to wrestle with the devil you have put him down there is a fight of faith now and you have to understand when the bible talks about the fight of faith and when it talks about our warfare what is this warfare what is the, this fight of faith the bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places he says we wrestle not what do you mean wrestle the word wrestle there doesn't mean that we're fighting them it's not a fight He's referring to the fight of faith, not fighting the devil. But he's talking about the demon spirits of darkness trying to sway you from the truth. And that's what the fight of faith is all about. That's what it's all about. It's not like we are engaged with satanic forces in a physical combat. It's not that way at all. We are not engaged with satanic forces in the physical, physical combat. No. When it talks about the, the, the wires of the devil, what does he tell us to take? He says the shield of faith. He didn't say take your shield. He said it's the shield of faith. It's not a physical shield. Faith is your shield. You understand? Faith is the shield. It's not that there is a shield. All right? It's not talking about a shield in the realm of the spirit that is applied by faith. Come on, come on, come on. Are you hearing me? There is no shield in the realm of the spirit that we need to take by faith and use. No. Your faith is the shield. That is why it is called the shield of faith. Your faith is the shield. Oh, come on here. And then it says, the sword of the Spirit. What is it? He says, the word of God, which you proclaim, which you profess, which you declare, which you confess and announce. He says, that is the sword of the Spirit. It's not that there is a sword in the realm of the Spirit that you declare, I take now in the name of Jesus the sword of the Spirit. Uh-uh. When you speak the word of God, that is the sword. When you stand your ground in faith and proclaim the word in faith, that is the shield. You don't need to picture any shield and try to catch it. I confess I received the shield of faith. No. No, no, no. Your faith is the shield. 
let me just go to second Corinthians for a moment second Corinthians in, in the third chapter did I say the third chapter no no it's a tenth chapter in the third verse second Corinthians the tenth chapter Oh, we are victors in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. He says, though we walk in the flesh, that means walk in a human body. We do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down. Casting down what? So integris covra dalaman de gisco shalahate. Casting down imaginations and every high thing, oh, 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 glory, that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now I want you to understand that this must not be taken out of context. We're going to read it in its context to begin to understand it. I'm reading from verse 1. We started from verse 3, right? Most of us know how to quote it from verse 3. Not many of us know what is connected to it from verse 1. But when you begin to read it from verse 1 and then beyond verse 5, you get to understand. All right, verse 1. Now, I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence I'm based among you, but being absent, I'm bold towards you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence, where would I think to be bold against some which think of us. Now, watch this. Some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. So, he's not talking about everybody. He's talking about some. Because he refers to some people in the church. Now, you have to understand where this is all coming from. This whole thing has to be understood from 1 Corinthians. You're going to have to understand the whole subject from 1 Corinthians into 2 Corinthians to know what he's dealing with here. Now, he says, you can, you can understand that there's something wrong somewhere. There's a problem somewhere and Paul is referring to this thing. So, verse 2 again. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. He says, I'm coming to you, and I, I plan to be bold against you, but somehow, he says, I know what you think about me, that um, I'm bold when I'm away, and I'm not bold when I'm present. He said, but this time, I'm coming with boldness because I've, I've got to talk to some of you who think that we are walking according to the flesh. See, he's talking to the church, to the church in Corinth. There's an issue. There's a matter up. And he's upset about this thing. So he says, some of you think that we are walking according to the flesh. So he goes in verse 3 to say, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this as we go on. 
So he says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but man is regard to the pulling down of strongholds, etc., etc., etc. Then, in verse 5, I want you to notice, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having in readiness, or in a readiness, to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Do ye look on things after the outward appearance? See? You notice? He's asking them, do you look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again, that as he is Christ, as he belongs to Christ, even so are we also Christ. We also belong to Christ. See, the man is upset about something. So when he says, we, he's not talking of everybody. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I get you all now. You're so quiet on me now. Let me read that verse 7 into verse 8 so you see. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again that as he is Christ even so are we Christ for though I should boast somewhat more of our authority uh -huh, of our authority which the Lord had given us for edification and not for your destruction I should not be ashamed you see that he's talking about our authority which God has given to us for your edification not for your destruction God gave us authority for your edification so when he said, we, us, he wasn't referring to everybody. He was talking about the leaders. And I said, you have to study from 1 Corinthians into 2 Corinthians to know what he was talking about and who he was referring to. How many of you are understanding it in context right now? Thank you. Now, this will become clearer. Go back to verse 3. He says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh the word war there is Greek stratomai it means to lead soldiers in an expedition it means to lead soldiers to war so he's not talking about fighting the devil he's talking about strategizing so when we tell you what to do he's saying we know what we're dealing with we are operating from a high realm because we understand the manipulations of Satan so he says the authority which the Lord has given to us for your edification and not for your destruction so the leadership that we give to you were given from a high realm of the spirits our military leadership, he's saying. Strategizing in the realm of the spirit. It's not according to the flesh. It's not according to our brains. We are not thinking it out. We're not trying to reason out with our senses. We understand these things from the realm of the spirit. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not lead and guide and strategize according to the flesh. Why? Because the weapons that we use are not man-made. That's why we have to strategize according to the spirits. We have to function according to the spirits. So when we give instructions, they are coming from the realm of the spirit because the kind of weapons that we use are not of human understanding. Oh, oh, come on here! The whole army of Egypt coming against Israel. God says, Moses, stretch your hand over the water and divide it. How, how, how? The weapons of our warfare. Hey, uh. Egypt can't believe it. It can't go through their minds that the Red Sea will split wide open. They have never heard about it. They have never thought about it. They have never imagined it. And right before their eyes, the Red Sea split wide open. They couldn't believe it. Could this be God? 
They thought they were standing right in presence of history in the making. But they thought, well, we didn't see nobody. We only saw Moses ahead of them. So they watched the children of Israel go through. The Bible says, which the Egyptians are saying to do with drowns. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Our strategies are different. The carnal ones began to say, oh God, what are we going to do? Moses, you want to destroy us? They looked at the water. They said, no way. They looked this way and that way. We can't escape. We are dead men. What they forgot was that Moses was strategizing with Almighty Jehovah. Hallelujah! You see, Jehovah already introduced himself to Moses. He said, Moses, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your, your fathers knew me as El Shaddai. But I am Jehovah. Hallelujah! He said, I'm going to bring you out of Egypt. I'm not going to function as, as, as El Shaddai, but as Jehovah. I'll lead you out of bondage. I am Jehovah. Oh, come on, shout amen, somebody. The weapons of our warfare are not cannon. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hey, yeah, 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 go right and go. One of our pastors told me the other day, there was a building that they wanted for church. And the man, the agent who was in charge of it said, no way, I can't give it to you. He made up his mind he wasn't going to give it to them. Well, he tried to make it very difficult. And several times they had a meeting with him. No way. So what? The last time they came to the building to take a look at it, he said they got together, he and his brethren, and they began to pray. They began to speak in other tongues. This man who was upset with them was going away while they was praying. And then he looked at them. He couldn't move any further. Are you hearing me? That day he made up his mind. He was going to give them the property. Can you shout hallelujah? The weapons of our warfare. Anand Kana. Hallelujah. We are strategizing in the realm of the spirits. Don't worry about your imaginations of fear. He says these weapons are mighty through God to pull down strongholds, to cast down imaginations and bring down every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Can you shout amen somebody? in the realm of the spirits and you know when we get into that war room and we begin to pray in the Holy Ghost we 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 pray in the Holy Ghost go in a God oh hallelujah hallelujah Joshua learned it from Moses when it was time to take Jericho Joshua knew he couldn't sit down with the elders of Israel to be planning on how to take Jericho he couldn't look for the oldest men in Israel to say how are we gonna take Jericho no he couldn't count how many swords they had to know how to take Jericho he was waiting for something the same God that appeared to Moses and before long the angel of the Lord stood before Joshua and introduced himself and said now here is the strategy here is the strategy hallelujah it's not for the swords he said the swords will wait all those weapons will have to wait no swords no shields no spears no staves they'll all have to wait so what are we gonna do he said here is the strategy because the weapons are not man-made we're gonna bring down these wars he said you're gonna go around the walls 
one time each day for seven days on the seventh day you're gonna go around seven times and each time you're going around nobody talking at the last time the seventh time of the seventh day he said you blow the trumpets and you shout the will of God hey, hallelujah 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 he said when you shout he said these walls that you see before you they will fall down flat 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 oh glory to god i don't know the kind of walls you are facing in your life maybe the walls of cancer maybe the walls of financial impossibilities maybe there are wars in your business maybe there are wars in your academics but i'm telling you we are using the weapons of our warfare they are not canal and the walls who come down flat oh hallelujah glory to god Woo -hoo! Oh, glory to god Sit down. Tell somebody anything is possible. Tell three people anything is possible. Anything is possible. Tell another three people anything is possible. Go with a guy. working my faith is working i said my faith is working 
my faith is working it's 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 working glory to god it's working it's working it's working glory to god it's working my faith is working it's working it's working hallelujah hey glory 